everyone, Drudge here. Welcome back to RuneScape episode. Now today we're going to be a little, doing a little bit more exploration. If you've seen the Port Serum video, you'll know where I'm at. This is actually Port Serum Lodestone. We're going to be exploring west of the Port Serum, uh, including Mudskipper's Point, a uh, bunch of other areas. Well, actually not Mudskipper's Point because that's actually south of Port Serum and I showed you guys that. Um, but we'll explore what's west of here, and we'll also explore uh, the crafting guild, which is right nearby too. Pleading this like entire area, so up next will only be a few more towns in the other side, and then of course the desert town eventually, or well, the desert itself. You'll see actually two caves. Uh, one is right here. Uh, that cave entrance, well, right by the knights themselves. That's the cave entrance to go to the Grot Worms. And eventually, uh, the Fiend Black Dragon, which is a boss fight, so do be careful. And then right here, this uh, cave entrance. This is actually for a quest, which is in the town that I'm heading to right now, actually. Fairly simple quest, but it has some good rewards for it, including ways to help you to fight that boss. Alright, <clears throat> this is actually the town that is called Remington. There's not a whole lot here, uh, it's mostly for a quest and mostly for clue scrolls. But this is how you get here, it's just directly west of the. Uh, uh, Port Serum. There will also be a bush patch here. Uh, now that's usually not the most commonly you uh, sought after thing, but some people do like to actually grow their like white bears and whatnot. Then if you head north, there is a castle right here kind of castle and this is actually used in a lot of quests so you'll find yourself doing that for a lot of the quest lines well for a couple quest lines at least uh, if you ever need onions or cabbages of course there's a lot of cabbage farms but there's also an onion patch here with those uh, if you head west of here there's a little peninsula there's a lot of hobgoblins over there and at the very end there's a couple uh, what is that Snapgrass, yeah. Uh, there's a couple of snapgrass at the very end, but there's even one towards the beginning. But there's a lot of things that drop that now, so it's not really something I'm gonna have to worry about collecting. Uh, right there to the east, if you've seen the Falador video, is actually all the clan stuff that's actually going on. And then right in this building here is actually the crafting guild. And if you're able to go into the crafting guild, you have actually quite a bit at your disposal. There's a lot of silver, gold, and clay rocks. Uh, if you have the access for it, if you complete a lot of the uh, achievement diaries for Falador, this will be very useful. The bank deposit box, because you know, like right there, you have all of this, and right there is that right next to it. Uh, there is a farm right here for the cowhide, you know, to be able to get a lot of that. But I don't really see the point of going there because there is much better areas like Taverly itself. Uh, but otherwise, this is actually a very good crafting station. You have a lot of potter's wheels, pottery oven. Uh, upstairs there's actually a few different supplies you can get like the different types of molds so if you need those you can go up there and then all we gotta do there's a couple more areas to explore and there's actually this one right here okay we have two things here uh, you can actually take your picture here at this booth and this is where you'll see like if you're on the forums you'll see people have pictures and their profile will and stuff like that 
Uh, if, if you enter here, you can see how your guy is displayed. Because uh, if you do have gear equipped, that won't matter so much as what your uh, cosmetic overrides are, you know, from like the Solomon General Store. So you'll be able to snap your picture, and it'll have it. <clears throat> That'll be your forum picture then. Over here, you have what is called a makeover mage. This is actually where you can select maybe a different skin color, uh, promotional skins, your gender, if you want to change that. Uh, and actually, that's something that's kind of important for down the road. There's a certain quest that actually require you to be a female character rather than a male character if you are playing as a male. Uh, right up here, there is a little bit of a of a mining pit. There's some ore, tin, very little copper, and there's very little coal in the center. Uh, if you keep heading further north, there is like a, was it, Dark Wizard Tower right there? Yeah, Dark Wizard Tower. Uh, a little bit more north is a crystal tree. Currently, right now, it's inactive. It's not the right one. And just a little bit further north of that, is a quest area and uh, if you haven't done the quest there will be like a little boy right out near where my guy is actually currently standing otherwise highly used for clues in this area there's a lot of people well a lot of clues that will end like right at that grassy patch right there by the path uh, head a little bit further north you'll have another quest right here with uh, Silas and you'll have some more going on right in there. And head a little bit more north. You have a wheat field there. Some clue scrolls will go there and stuff like that. Um, and then there's also this dungeon right here, which is actually called the Taverly Dungeon. And as you can see, I'm right back at Taverly. So in this dungeon, though, there is actually a lot going on. So we'll go in here for a little bit. All right, whenever you first come in, if you have the agility level, you can squeeze through that pipe right there. If not, you have to continue further in. And if you have an even higher agility level, you can jump over that strange floor to get to that side, which will have hellhounds, black dragons, and the fire altar and water altar for the uh, creating of orbs. Otherwise, you do have a bunch of different ways to actually get to the center. I mean, you got some skeletons there. Over here, you got a bunch of bats. Uh, so if you need to kill bats, this would probably actually be a really good area. Especially like those for who are lower level slayer yet. Uh, up north there, you have a few of those uh, Zamrock or Chaos Druids. And that spot later on will also be for questing. Uh, beyond that gate right there is actually the blue dragons and then the black demons. Uh, I don't have the key with. You do actually have to get a key. Up here is a bunch of uh, flying hatchets. Yeah, magic axes is what they're called. Going even further. There is a few chaos dwarves in here if you do want to fight them. There's also the poison scorpions. I suggest not fighting them unless you... Uh, they're not hard enemies, but it's just they're kind of annoying because they can poison you. A little bit further, you have some hill giants here, just in a little bit of the middle. And at the very end here, you basically have an underground castle for the Black Knights. This is their headquarters. Um, just a bunch of knights around here. You actually have their leader, who is Lord Decarius, right over here at his uh, throne. As you can see, they even have a map table that has Falador and their surrounding areas. And if you need to get that key, what you'll need to do is you'll need to come over here. Uh, you can get in there, but that area is not really that important. But you'll attack the jailer here, defeat him, get a cell key, and then you can open this door, talk to him, after a little bit of dialogue, you'll be able to get the key for the other door and go back all the way 
to the Celestial Demons with the Chaos Dwarves, and you'll be able to get to those blue dragons then. Uh, that door there is for later on for a quest, so you might, you probably won't have access to it for a very long time, even that it's more of an exit than it is anything else. Alright, well that'll do it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, or later guys.